Here's what you need to do in order to unlock the Dark Aether permanently. Complete the Act 4 story mission and collect the Diary reward. After completing the story mission, there are three more items, a surveillance camera, pill bottle, and dog collar that you need to collect and then turn gold, but you don't need to do them all at the same time. To collect the surveillance camera, you will need to equip a Deadwire ammo mod and destroy a harvester orb. To collect the pill bottle, you will need to equip a brain rot ammo mod and shoot shoot an infected sack one or two times, or until it changes color, then loot that sack and collect the pill bottle. To collect the dog collar, you will need to bring a Molotov and a chunk of flesh to a doghouse and place both into the doghouse. This will spawn a hellhound that you need to defeat and will drop the collar. Now that you have the three purple items, let's talk about how you turn them gold. When you have these items in your backpack, you'll need to find an ether tear and enter it. When you are in the air, you will see tears in front of you in the sky. Enter one of those tears, follow the trail, and complete the purple contract. Completing the contract will automatically turn an item gold. You must complete this for each item. Now that you have the four gold items, you need to make your way to the Aether Storm on the edge of tier two and three. Each item must be placed on a specific pedestal. The diary goes on the cryo pedestal, the pill bottle on the brain rot, the camera on the dead wire, and the dog collar on the napalm. This will spawn a named mega abomination that you must defeat. When you defeat this abomination, you will get a reward rift that provides you with a sigil to open the dark ether. The sigil can only be used one time. However, you can earn more sigils by completing tier three contracts, which will randomly reward them.